numerous directions from this passage of Scripture. But I felt like the Lord laid something on my heart. And the Brother Mike was testifying, talking about how God was using him to reach. Brother Ewell testifying of how God was using him to reach. Uh, Sister Kathy testifying of how that sometimes when we can't reach, we just got to turn it over to God and let him reach. And I feel like God's working with us. Yeah, he is. And he's reaching. Yeah. And I thought we, we are seeing results of the reaching. Yeah. Uh, we was at the men's breakfast yesterday morning and and it started out at Brother Yule's barn. And uh Brother Yule, I'll be honest, I don't know if we if it keeps doing it, we can all get in your barn. I don't think so. <laughs> uh and that and that's fine. Yes. Uh I, I really enjoyed going to the barn. Uh, but uh, but I enjoy this too. But I thought yesterday morning, as as the spirit began to move, yeah. and as Brother Sparks made that altar call, and we seen that young man, and, and he's been coming, and, and I believe I believe Cody's praying, yeah. Yeah. but he needs to really get a relationship with God. Yeah. And he came to that altar. He wouldn't run him, but man, he was in a fast trot. Yeah. And he come to that altar, and. Uh, and he got, I feel like he got help. It's all because of the reach. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and as Brother Ewell mentioned, doing things in season. He, uh, he, he talked about his peas. And, and uh, uh, my pal Paul, uh, I, I'm not much of a gardener. I probably should be. Uh, but I, I like to plant the garden. <clears throat> and uh, I don't mind harvesting, but to be honest, after I've worked all day long, I really don't feel like killing. Yeah. Uh, it's just a uh, it's, it's low work. And uh, when I do put them out, I always put them out too much, but I thought there's signs and there's times to do everything. Yeah. And like Brother Mike's testimony, there's times for things to be preached. Yeah. And then there's times to just simply reach. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. and, uh, and I want God to help me that I know yeah. when I need to move. When I need to just sit and wait. But in the book of Luke, chapter 10, and we'll start reading at verse 38. It says, Now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she said, and she had a sister called Mary which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was, was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Bid her, therefore, that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Mary, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary has chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Thank you for standing and reading. I thought uh, here we find, like I said, it's very familiar. Uh, Martha has invited Jesus to her house, and uh, as any hostess <coughs> would do, she begins to cumber about trying to take care of everything. Right. Uh, and her sister finds herself at the feet of the master, yeah. the right. feet of Jesus. Right. And so Martha is bothered with that, and she's wanting her sister to help her. Uh, but Jesus realized and let Martha know that what Mary was doing was needful. It was needful that she listened yeah. to what Jesus was teaching. Right. Uh, and uh, and I began to think about this, and, and I thought yesterday we, we came out here yesterday morning and had the breakfast, and, and we went home, and uh, Sister Kathy and I we we went to to Richmond for a few minutes and, <clears throat> and got us a little bite to eat later on around dinner time, and went to Walmart and. Got a few things we needed. We came back home, and and uh, and I was sitting there. It was cold, dreary outside, and and uh, a lot of things that I could be doing. Right. Uh, I've got.
got a truck in my garage that I'm working on and for my father-in-law, and, and uh, I'd like to get it finished. I could went back there and worked on it. Uh, I've got other things there at the house and, that I needed to get done, and, and, uh, and I borrowed a saw to cut a log that had fallen, and, and, uh, and, and I began to think about all these things that I, that I could be doing, and I told Sister Kathy, I said, I'm going outside because I'm, I feel like I'm just wasting my day just sitting in the house. I went out and I, and I got the chainsaw and I started cutting the log and, and uh, the tree bound up on the saw and, and uh, here I was trying to, and just nothing was working right. So I uh, finally got the saw out and I just put it back in the case, put it in the garage, locked it up, came back in the house and uh, uh, didn't think no more about it. And, and, and I thought, to, I, and I began to think about that this morning uh, of, of how it is, you know, and, and if I title this uh, tonight, I'd title it, Are You Really Busy or Are You Just Busy? All right. There's a difference in being busy and being busy. I thought I can busy myself about with a lot of different things, True. but still not get nothing accomplished. Right. I, I thought uh, <coughs> I've got a guy that works for me, and he's a good worker. Uh, but uh, if, if things start getting a little bit slow, uh, you know, and, and he's got a, I, I can, and I can give him his work order that I want him to get done. And, and he's got it laying there before him. But, but if things get a little bit slow, uh, you can guarantee that no matter where I'm at, he's going to show up and he's going to start asking me questions about what I want him to do. Uh, just because he wants to, to act busy. He already knows what I want him to do. He already knows what I want him to get accomplished for that day, but yet he's still got to come and continue to ask. Uh, and, uh, uh, and a lot of times, I'll, I, or he'll go wandering off, and, and I'll find him out wandering around, and, and then he'll act like he's trying to find me to ask me something. Uh, and uh, uh, so, so he's busying himself with frivolous things. Right. And, uh, and I thought the Lord began to deal with me with that this morning. I thought, uh, are we really busy with what God's wanting us to do? I thought, you know, when you when you look at the people God chose in the Bible, I thought God didn't choose lazy people. No. Uh, and I thought, uh, uh, you know, and and, and and I guess I, I work all week, and I and I'll come home, and and uh, not as much as I used to. Uh, and I thought, uh, uh, you know, I got arthritis. And, and uh, I like to complain about that. I mean, it's just something, you know, it hurts. And, and uh, you find yourself complaining, and, and uh, especially when it's raining and it's cold. And, and, uh, and I work in the cold all day, and, and I'll come home. But, but I thought, you know, uh, a lot of times we, we, we busy ourselves, and then I come home, and I've got all these things that I think I need to get done. And, uh, and we get involved with those things. But I thought we get so busy so many times that we forget the most important thing, that's what God's called us to do. That's right. And, and uh, you know, he's called me to preach and, and others to preach. But I thought, as Brother Yule said a while ago, he's called every one of us to be a warrior to do something to further the kingdom of God. Amen. We've all got responsibilities. Uh, but I thought, you know, God didn't choose uh, people that were sitting idle when he began to call. Oh, uh, we find uh, Moses, whenever God... Uh, uh, the Lord called Moses there, and, and he came upon the burning bush. Moses was busy taking care of a flock. Yep. Uh, he was a shepherd. He had a job. We find Gideon. Uh, he was busy on the threshing uh, wheat uh, by the wine press. And, uh, we find Saul uh, busy searching uh, for his father's lost, uh, uh, lost beast. And uh, Then uh, uh, we find David. He was busy caring for his father's sheep. Uh, Elisha. Uh, we find him, uh, uh, he, was, <coughs> he was busy to, uh, a plow with 12 yoke of oxen. Uh, Nehemiah, when God uh, uh, put a burden upon his heart, uh, uh, he was busy burying the cup for the king. Uh, Amos, uh, uh, he was also uh, 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 following the flock and, and uh, gather a, a sycamore, raising sycamore fruit. I thought everybody that God decided to ch uh, call he found somebody that was already busy. All right. But I thought what he found was somebody that was just simply busy. But he wanted to make them busy. 
He wanted to give them uh, a reason to go out. Uh, uh, Peter and Andrew, uh, they were busy casting uh, their nets upon the sea. Uh, they were fishermen. Uh, uh, they had responsibilities. And, and, a lot, uh, and God choose, chose to call these people. Yeah, right. uh, I thought uh, uh, some of them were not maybe people that had the eloquent jobs. And then you go and you find Matthew and, and he's sitting there and he's a, uh, I believe he was a, a tax collector. Uh, I mean, he was, you know, and, and so everybody had a, 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 a purpose and a job. But they were just simply busy. But God wanted them to be busy for his kingdom. Yeah. I thought, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's so easy, to, like I said, to just, to just busy ourselves. Uh, to look and see all these things that we need to get accomplished. Uh, I was telling somebody the other day, whenever we lived over in Irving, and uh, <coughs> we lived there in the trailer park for nine years. And uh, and I'm the kind of person I like to be busy. I like to have things to do. And uh, we lived right there as you came into the park. And, and uh, I went out and... and uh, I mean, I mowed my yard at least twice a week. I mean, about every two days, I was mowing the grass. I mean, it wasn't no water, much more water than I was going down the middle of this church, but it was it was grass, and I kept it mowed. And uh, I kept everything just so-so. I had a, a, a goldfish pond dug out in my front yard and all kinds of fountains and all this stuff and, and stuff to just busy myself with. Mm -hmm. Inside the house, I had fish aquariums, and I don't know how many we had and, uh, and I'd sit and I had those things I just, just to take care of it, just to busy myself. And then I moved to where I'm at now, and I've got six acres. The yard gets mowed once a week if it's lucky. Uh, and because uh, uh, that's a whole lot of mowing to do. I thought, uh, you know, and then you got all the other things you got to take care of. And I moved all the goldfish ponds and all the aquariums with me, and, and it didn't take me long to realize I've got too much other things to worry about busy myself with these and so those things I began to get rid of but then I find all these other things busy in myself uh, then I find myself uh, where I've got so busy that I forgot all about the work of God and then I find myself at 38 years old as Brother Sparks has said before and I have laying flat on my back looking at the ceiling Lord why am I laying here why am I in this pain why am I having to go through this and God just spoke to my heart and said because you're too busy I need to get your attention. And so I've got to get you down uh, where you're looking at the ceiling so that I can talk to you a little bit. And, and I want to, <coughs> a lot of times I'll start getting busy again, Brother Dwayne, and, and I'll bend over and I'll pick something up and, and I'll feel a sharp pain shoot up my back and I'll say, all right, Lord, I'm ready to listen. Uh, I, I don't want to get too busy again to be busy for God. And I thought there's a difference in being busy and really being busy. Right. I like, you know, it's, it's easy for us to, to look around and, and uh, uh, make sure that we're doing what we need to be doing. Right. And, and I thought, uh, uh, like I said, when, when God called his disciples, every one of them were busy doing something. And, uh, and I thought, uh, uh, but I thought we can look and we go over in the book of, uh, of, of John and, and uh, uh when he called uh, uh, Simon and Peter and Thomas and, and uh, Didymus and, and Nathaniel and, uh, of Cana in Galilee and the sons of Zebedee and two other disciples, and, it, and Simon Peter saith unto them, I go fishing. And they say unto him, We also go with thee. And they went forth and entered into a ship immediately and that, that night, and they called... <coughs> And I thought this is right after Jesus had been crucified. And God went out and Jesus went out and he found all these men out here fishing. He don't found Peter and him out there. That's what they, that's what they was doing when God came and, and found them busy. And he said, I need you to follow me so I can make you busy. I hope, I, hope I'm getting my point across tonight. And then Jesus is crucified. And then Peter tells him, says, I'm going to go fishing. What was he doing? He was trying to busy himself other than what God had called him to do. And I thought it's so easy for us to busy ourselves rather than do what 
God wants us to do. Amen. And I thought, uh, uh, you know, and, and we can get consumed with things. And I thought it's easy for us to get consumed. You know, I I work every day and I come home and, and I do a little side jobs. I don't care to do breaks and all these things. And, and uh, sometimes I go a long time and not have nothing to do. And, and then I'll get a phone call and somebody says, can you do this for me? And, and I'll say, yeah. And, and so they're bringing And then somebody else will call and say, can you do this? And then before you know it, I've got five or six jobs sitting here lined up. And I thought, I've got all this and that. And, I, and I'm, I'm thinking, wait a minute, I'm getting too busy. And so then somebody calls and I said, no, wait a minute, I, you know, I wouldn't care to do this for you, but I'm just, I'm, I'm too busy right now. All right. Because I've got more important things that I've got to take care of. All right. You know, I've got a house payment, a car payment, and, and utilities and all that, so I've got to get up and go to work. Right. So, but I can't busy myself with all these other things that I'm not doing what God right. wants me to do. Right. 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 And I thought, we've got to be careful to not get too busy to really be busy with what God wants us to do. Oh, they come and get a song, and that's all I've got tonight. But I thought we've we've already heard wonderful, wonderful exhortations tonight, and wonderful testimonies, because God's got a purpose. Yes, God's want us to reach, and I thought He don't want us to get too busy. That we, he can't keep us busy right. doing what he wants us to do. Yeah, right. Right. I <clears throat> as a as a boss, if I go to somebody and I ask them to do something, I've got one guy that that uh, works there, and, and uh, <clears throat> he got to a place where I go ask him to do something, and and uh, the owner would ask him to do these little things and he would hold those little things until I'd ask him to do something and then he'd say, but Keith wants me to go over here and do something. And then he would go do that little thing that would take 10 or 15 minutes and not take care of what I asked him to do. So I went to the boss and I said, now listen, I work for you and he works for me. And when you tell him you want these little things done, he's holding on to them until I ask him to do something. And then he said, but Keith wants me to do this. And I said, so if you're going to tell him what he's going to do, then I'm going to find somebody else to do that job. Yes, because sir. when I ask him to do it, I want it done. Yes, sir. I don't want him to say, but he's got me. And I said, and then you tell him what to do, and he can work directly for you. Yes. Absolutely. And I thought, and he looked at me and he realized I'm telling the truth. Right. And I thought, that's the way it's got to be. Right. Yes, God, when he asks us to do something, he don't want us giving him no excuses and us to have ourselves too busy to take care of the business God has laid in hand. Amen. If they come against us song tonight, <clears throat> I thought, 